I did not think I was going to open these, but 2K released these promo super packs. Again, I know it's super packs, but these have an 11% chance each pack to get a dark matter. Like, yo, only two weeks ago, we went crazy because it went up to 3%. Now we've got an 11% chance. That's just insane. But yes, it's because 2K released these rush players. We've got Karan Butler, Donovan Mitchell, Amari Stoudemire, Bill Walton, and Jason Richardson. Now these five players are actually quite cheap on the auction house. Actually, they're not that cheap. What? I thought these cards were going to be so cheap. Okay, I might be a little wrong about that. So they're not super cheap, but they are easy to get because 2K have actually added rush equal chance packs to every mode. So if you open the vault, you get a chance at getting one. You can see they're also in triple threat online. They're in triple threat offline, just to name a few. But the most exciting thing, you can get one for free guaranteed. As you can see right here, we were able to do it. Now, Angus, how did you do this? Well, literally all you have to do is win six clutch time offline games in a row. Once you win those six, it's super easy. Then you get the pack and it's a guaranteed dark matter. And it's guaranteed to be one of those five players I mentioned before. And they're actually quite good. So obviously we've got the pack for a guaranteed dark matter. I'm not going to open it up yet though. I want to open up these crazy packs. Like bro, literally an 11% chance. That's insane. Also a 42% chance at a Galaxy Opal. So yeah, so obviously we're spending VC and obviously it'll be very much appreciated if you guys go down below and smash that like button as uh, once again, we're spending more money, but let's get to it. The only thing I'd say that's annoying about these packs is the fact that yes, they are VC only, which is obviously annoying, but the good part is, is they do seem to have quite good odds. So hopefully we can see those odds as we just get a pink diamond Bill Walton, not the dark matter. I just find it insane that it's now gone up to 11% chance, but hopefully we can actually see the 11%. And we then get Amari who has a dark matter too. Okay, I mean, I didn't really expect that, but we do want to see a dark matter just like that. Straight away, we get one. And the good part is that this is not guaranteed to be a rush player. This could be like Yao Ming. This could be Invincible T-Max. So I can't get too excited right now, but let's flip it and let's see who this is going to be. Please be a good one. Be a crazy one. It looks like Dwight Howard, Western Conference Center, number 12. Yep, it's Dwight. I've pulled this card now like three times out of all my Dark Matters, but still, I'm not complaining. It's a holo as well. I think that's my first ever holo Dark Matter pull, which is kind of cool to see. Also, we're only on pack number like four or something. I mean, hey, I'll definitely take Dwight. We also just got Dwight and James Harden in the same pack. I don't know really what's going on. This is fun to open, I can't lie. But yeah, the crazy part is, is in each box, you should be getting multiple Galaxy, no, multiple Dark Matters. As you can see too, Galaxy Opals don't shake if you already have the cards. That's the reason why that one didn't shake. We had a pink diamond here and another version of Dwight Howard. This is so crazy. The amount of cards we're getting. We just got another dark matter. We just got another dark matter. Bang. These odds are insane. These odds are absolutely insane. Let's just flip it and let's see which one this is straight away. Make it an invincible for me and I will go insane. This looks like Nikola Jokic. What is going on with Nikola Jokic? Why do I pull this card so many times? I am not complaining though. Make it the hero version. Bang. No, it's just the normal one, but I pull this card all the time. This is my third time pulling Dark Matter Nikola Jokic out of position, but I am not complaining. He goes for a lot of MT. Huge W, huge W. And uh, we're on pack number seven. We're on pack number seven. We've still got so many more packs to go in this box. Can we get one more? That's when we know if we're able to get three Dark Matters, we've beat the odds. We're like little TJ beating the odds and not getting anything here. I will say though, this is, this is probably the happy... Bruh. What, what is happening? Another Dark Matter, that's three in 10 packs. I, I don't even know what to say. Let's just flip it and let's just see who it is straight away. Is this Devin Booker? This looks like Devin Booker and it is going to be Devin Booker. I've never pulled this card. Is it his iced whatever version? Yeah, it's a high res version. Still a sick card. The only issue is the playoff one is a lot better, but it's not an issue, Angus. You still just pulled another Dark Matter. What is happening? What is happening? There's no way we get four Dark Matters in a box, is there? There's absolutely no way that's going to happen. But I guess there's only one way to find out though by open, by opening more up, opening more up and seeing if we can get anything crazy. Pack number 13, it's just a normal shake. So that means it's a Galaxy Opal we haven't pulled yet, which is actually sort of rare to see. It's our first Galaxy Opal actual shake. It's Western Conference Center, number 32. Is this Carl Anthony Towns? I, I think it is. It is cat. Is it a play? No, it's that version. I don't even remember this card. I actually can't believe that I don't have that card already because really most cards in the game we've got, as you can see, another Galaxy Opal here. Bro, I can't believe I pulled three Dark Matters in this box. Can we make it four? That'll be crazy. All we need is just one more. Oh, that's just a normal shake. It's just a normal shake for a normal Galaxy Opal, but 
The question is, what Galaxy Opal is this going to be? It looks like Allen Iverson. There's no way. This must be his um his normal card. Wait, what card am I thinking of? The all-time card, because I definitely have his other version. No, it's the Radiant. Okay. Definitely didn't expect that. But number 17. Oh my, what is going on? Like 2K. That's four Dark Matters in one box. <laughs> Bro, 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 bro. What is actually happening? These odds are crazy and we have beaten the odds. We have 100% beaten the odds for another Dark Matter. Which one is this? Um, I can't even... No. Oh, I thought it was T-Mac for a second. Wait, is it... This is T-Mac. This is T-Mac. Make it the uh, Invincible... Invi it's the Radiant. It's still a crazy good pull though. I can't believe we just got that. I almost had a mini heart attack. I literally had a mini heart attack. I thought it was going to be the Invincible, but I'm more than happy with the Radiant version. That's an amazing pull. An amazing pull. And that's our fourth Dark Matter in this box. What is going on? I literally don't even know what to say. We still have more packs remaining and we still have the topper as well. Next pack up, another pink diamond, okay. I thought I was only gonna do one box, but I feel like after this, I have to do another, don't I? I, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a tenner or something because this is just going insane. This is now our final pack until the topper. You know what? If I get a dark matter in this topper, I'll do another 20 pack box. If I get a galaxy opal though, I'll do a 10. So here you go, 2K. It's up to you with this topper and bang, it's just a galaxy opal, but how crazy was that box? I actually cannot believe that. So yeah, this T-Mac goes for about 300K. Dwight has dropped a lot. He's like under 80,000. Devin Booker, yeah, he doesn't go for much at all. He still goes for about under 80,000 as well. Then point guard Jokic goes for about 300K as well. So from that box, I made about 700,000 MT. I'll 100% take that. I didn't think I was gonna do this, but I have to do a 10 pack box after that. Let's do it. There's no way I can literally get four dark matters in a box and just say that's the end. Like that's my issue is I I cannot quit while, while I'm ahead. While I'm ahead, we get a Dark Matter in the first pack of this box. That's Dark Matter number five. Who's this one going to be? It looks like Ron Artest. Bro, I'm way too good at actually just seeing the silhouettes of players. But this is a card I've been wanting to try for so long. And he actually looks like a beast. So I'm excited that I can finally use him and, I, and then sell him maybe for MT after. This is a good pull. I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. I'll tell you that. If we get multiple Dark Matters in this box, I will go absolutely crazy. Like you can't deny it. I've got every ride in the world to already go crazy because this pack opening has just been insane. My last super pack opening was my best one I've ever had. This one is like quite possibly even better. Sure, we haven't pulled a hero card or anything like that. We haven't pulled anyone super duper crazy, but this is still super duper crazy, if you know what I'm saying. This one's gonna be, I think, Sean Bradley. I saw he looked super tall, and yep, it's our man Sean. Didn't expect to do this pack opening, and I'm not complaining that I did, and I will tell you that. Come on, we're halfway through this box now. Can we see one more? There's another Galaxy Opal, and we'll take the Opals. We'll certainly take it. It's another just normal shake. It's two Galaxy Opals in a box, which you don't see too often. We get Gerald Wallace as a holo, and this one should be an all-time card that we haven't seen before. So Western Conference power forward. From what team? That's the real question. It's going to be Carl Malone. Um... You know, let's just skip this. Bye, Carl. Don't even want to talk about you. Let's go to number eight and make it great with another Dark Matter. Just, yeah, why Why not? Why not just hit me with another Dark Matter and why not make it a crazy good card too? Let's see which one this is going to be. This one looks like actually Jason Richardson. I, I literally ruined my entire pack opening. Like I ruin it every single time because I know the player instantly. And that's our first rush card being Jason Richardson. He goes for over 100,000 MT. So I, I'm taking that as well. Just another dark matter. Add it to the list. There's no way. There's absolutely no way we get another one in this box. Is there like, there's no way. For the final pack of this box, is it going to be crazy? No, we end off with just a pink diamond. But two hollows in the same pack. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'll just do one single. Just one single with VC. We got to go through every pack option. We did the 20, we did the 10, and now we do the single and we get a dark matter. I, I actually, like, I, I actually don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. I feel like this is, it's Cade Cunningham. It, I, again, I ruin it every single time. This card is a cheap one out of the dark matters, but still it's another dark matter that we're able to pull. Cade, welcome. Bro, what is happening? <laughs> I'll go until I don't get a dark matter. I never thought I'd say that and I'll go until I don't get a dark matter, but hey, I can't stop on that. And we, we, we get another one. Okay, this is the craziest pack opening you guys will ever see. There's no way a pack opening's better than this. This one looks like, actually, I can't even tell who this one is. A small forward number, no, no. Don't do this to me again. Make it the invincible version of Tracy McGrady. Invincible. Oof. 
It's just the Radiant. But that's still a huge dub. I need to check if the Invincible's primary position is small forward. Am I going crazy for no reason? Oh no, the Invincible is a shooting guard small forward. So we have to see that exact animation until it comes to the position. We need to see shooting guard first. But that's back-to-back -back Dark Matters. Okay, we'll add our second T-Mac to the uh, auction house. And you know what? We're doing another pack. I cannot believe this. Cannot believe this. Can we go back-to-back-to-back? To back to back? Um... NBA 2K23, what is going on with these odds right now? This is what packs should be like. Hopefully we can buy them with MT in the future. This is going to be Jason Richardson again. I did not expect to spend this much with the singles, but why would I stop when I've just pulled three Dark Matters in a row? This one's hollow too. What is happening? I, I mean, let's just send that one to my auctions too. Thank you. And again, I'm doing another. If I get four in a row, I will draw... Tracy McGrady on my head. I don't even know. Like, let's just flip it and get my pen ready. Um, I, who, who is it? Um, Eastern Conference point guard number ten. It's Ben Simmons. It's literally another extremely good one. I'm, I, I guess we draw like, um, we go like this. T. M. Oh, whoops. M. A. This isn't even. Dr That'll do. I don't know why I did that. You can't even. Uh, okay, it's just going to be a pain to wash it off. I did not expect to get four dark matters in a row. Bro, literally, what is happening? Next one up. I now have texture on my on on my forehead. Five in a row. It had to stop. It had to stop. Let's just check if that's the end. Let's just double check. Double check and see if that's the end of all the good odds and make sure um, it is. Okay, we're, we're done. So hi there, Killsmoy. I know you've got texture on your head. But what did you pull in your packs just there? Oh, let me answer the question for you. I pulled two Radiant Tracy McGrady's. I pulled Dark Matter Ben Simmons. I pulled Ron Artest, Cade Cunningham, Dwight Howard, Devin Booker, two Jason Richardsons, and a Nikola Jokic. <laughs> what the... I mean, what else do I say? As if that isn't crazy. If this video doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. And we've still got one more pack to open that guarantees the dark matter. Our rush equal chance unauctionable pack. Maybe I should go wipe this off real quick. All right, we're back. We're looking better now. And then it's now time for us to open it up. I'm actually excited to see what we get out of this. It's a guaranteed dark matter. So bang, there's our dark matter that we love to see. And now let's see who it is. Let's, let's hope it's like Bill Walton. I think Bill Walton's the best of them all. And it looks like it's going to be Jason Richardson, which is still an amazing amazing card. He actually looks like he has great stats. And yo, I actually cannot believe that 2K have done this for absolutely free. A huge dub. We'll take Jason Richardson. And now we can sell our two others. What a pack opening. Look at how many dark matters I have here. Like, what is this? If I sell everything, I'm going to be back at a million MT. I can't believe that. You know what? Let's just end it off. End it off with this. I'm addicted now. I'm absolutely addicted. I've spent way too much VC, but it has been so worth it. I should have stopped there, but it's okay. And you know why it's okay? It's because these promo super packs are the best packs in the game so far. So if you're thinking about opening them, I would recommend it. But if you don't spend money, then don't worry. The positive for everyone that doesn't spend money is every card has gone down in value right now. So you can buy your favorite card for so much cheaper. And I just can't believe my luck. Four dark matters in a row. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe and you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And man, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.